Hey, good morning guys. So I'm just camping out in the RV right now and I've been uh, traveling around the state, uh, Michigan, with Kristen for the last couple days, checking out all the different local kite spots dotting the west coast. And today we jetted over to the east side and we've been checking out this sick little nature area with this huge bay. And um, there's actually like some lagoons that line up in different wind directions that I'm really stoked to come back and check out later when the wind does line up. But we did manage to get a session in yesterday. We did this long hike. We checked out lighthouses. So anyway, I've uh, had a line mount set up and I've been doing some filming. And this week I wanted to do another fundamentals video. And that is just how to spice up a really basic trick that pretty much everybody learns within their first year or two of riding. And that is the front roll. I guess the goal of this video is to help you kind of mix things up and just spice that up. So we're going to talk about different variations, different axes, and just different things you can do to make your front roll better. So I'm going to get up and uh, get out there and do some more exploring today. But this should be a fun one. So let's get to it. All right, so if you want to spice up your front roll, I know a lot of you already know how to front roll. You're probably doing something that's similar to like maybe a flat three where you just kind of spin and get your legs up a little bit, or you might be to the point where you're kind of doing like more of an off axis roll where you throw your legs up and you're kind of doing a 360, but with your legs a bit behind you. Um, so I guess the first tip for this video is start practicing doing front rolls with one hand and getting a little bit more inverted. So as you're going, load the lines, send up a jump, and then throw your hips into the air and let go with your back hand. And what'll happen is by default, this will actually start to make your front rolls look better because you're now flying the kite with one hand, which is going to pull the kite forward and pull you into that roll. But also you're just gonna showcase some more control. And then from there, start experimenting with the axis. So you can really start to Throw your head back a bit and throw your hips into the air. And uh, one thing that I like to go to that's a really easy, good looking variation of the front roll is just to add a tail grab. So all you have to do is tuck that back knee into your chest and poke your front leg out and then reach down and grab the tail of your board. And you don't have to get the grab right away. You can experiment with just doing the one handed front roll and just keep reaching until you get the tail and uh, try to hold it longer and try to poke your front leg out as far as you can, tucking that knee in, and just do this over and over until you start feeling really confident with the, uh, the front roll tail grab. And this is probably the best looking variation of the front roll that there actually is. And um, it's a lot easier than you would think. So something else you can do is experiment with the axis of rotation. So you can see in these clips that I'm still doing more of an off axis roll, but I'm throwing my hips up. And one other variation that's kind of fun is just to throw your head back. So when you're doing this, you need to go into kind of the off axis roll, but then throw your head back right downwind. So that's kind of the trick to it is to throw your head back right downwind at the kite. And then almost like you're doing a backflip, bring your knees into your chest so you flip around really fast. And it kind of helps to even just go for like an indie or a mute grab on this one. Um, but just take your back hand and reach to the toe side edge of your board and throw your knees into your chest and you should just flip right around underneath your control bar. And this will feel a lot like a back flip and technically it's still a front roll because you are rolling in the right in that direction. But it's gonna change up the way this trick looks and feels. And this is just a, a fun way to mix up the front roll and I like to do both variations and just experiment. And uh, from there, just start experimenting with different grabs and different axes. So my challenge to you this week is to try as many different axes that you possibly can on the front roll and different grabs. And it really helps to do what I, with what I'm doing right now, which is just setting up a line mount with a GoPro and watching yourself ride. And after each session, just, you know, hang out and drink a beer or whatever and review your session and look at what you're doing and ask yourself, what can I do better? So the next session, could I have gotten more inverted? Could I've held that grab longer? Or, you know, is this a, a better place to grab the board? What am I doing? How is my timing? And compare yourself to other riders. And if you start doing this, you're gonna, not only are you gonna load up on good Instagram footage or whatever it is, you're just going to start progressing because you'll see what you're doing 
just like a, a team might review their footage when they're playing or any other sport. So I guess that's pretty much it for this week. Just experiment with some grabs, some different axes, and think about the impact of what you're doing while, while you're in the air. Uh, do you want it to be a big slow floaty roll? Is it more aggressive where you're hucking your knees in? And all these different little things can just impact the way that a trick looks. So that's the challenge. Try to spice up your front roll and bring some new variations to it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. I'm trying to keep these super short. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, this has been Raga.